Good morning. In this video, you're not going to see any epic sunrises. You're not going to see me running from composition to composition, chasing the light. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to make good use of my time out with a camera. So grab yourself a cup of coffee and welcome to another five minute photo adventure. Good morning, welcome to Dartmoor and Houghton Tor. I don't think I've actually done a video from Houghton Tor before, but as you can see behind me, the conditions aren't exactly what you call inspiring. It's fat, it's gray. That doesn't mean I can't use the time that I've got out with my camera to good use. Houghton Tor, our location, despite its grandeur and its how epic it looks in terms of the tours of Dartmoor, really kind of struggled here uh, to, to find compositions. But without this morning light to chase about and wander about and get all excited for that 15 minutes of, of light, I've actually got a lot of time. I've got some time to go and explore the location, find some compositions. And this is really important because when I do come back here and there is good light, I'm not trying to find the compositions as well. So I'm doing a little bit of research, doing a little bit of practice with a camera as well, just going out and taking pictures, remembering where the controls are, get your brain working as a landscape photographer. It's all good practice. So while I'm definitely not coming away with epic pictures this morning, I'm gonna give myself the knowledge and information and practice that's gonna put me in the best position to capture good photographs next time I come here hopefully when the light is good. So why don't we have a little explore about here and we'll see what compositions we can find. You find me rather dodgily stood on top of this wobbly rock at the moment. There's a bit of a drop down there. Composition wise though, what really appeals to me is this is gonna be a big foreground shot. And it's all gonna be about position of the camera, but where these, these rocks here in particular are positioned in the frame. So you notice I haven't come up with a tripod yet, so I wanna try and get a view through the camera to position where these rocks come out the bottom of the frame. Then to go towards the middle of the frame, there's more rocks and undulations in the ground. And then I've got two rock stacks in the back there. I think that probably means it's gonna be a vertical shot, have a look through, and I was talking about just moving the camera slightly from side to side, just to try and get the position in. It might also work as a landscape shot. If we go a little bit wider, I've actually got Haytor there in the background, so that could work as well. So there's a couple of good variations here that I could use. Again, just need a little bit of light just to help lift this foreground, otherwise it's a bit, just all looks like a big hunk of rock. You need that light to capture the, the tops of the rock and the undulations of the ground. To be fair to the weather, it is clearing up a little bit now. It's not gonna give me any good pictures, but it's just a little bit nicer. I think I'll get the tripod and we'll give that a go. For my second composition, I've decided to do the filming down here where it's a bit safer. So it's actually perched up on those rocks up there. Now, it might not look that high in the video, but when you're up there with two cameras, two tripods, and it's a little bit windy, it makes me quite nervous. I have uh, broken cameras in less windy conditions than this when they've been on a tripod, and then the wind just catches them and they fall over. So I didn't think it was, it was worth the risk, so I'll do the filming down here. But the purpose of being up there was to give me this elevated viewpoint which looks on to the side of this part of Hound Tor. And I really like this because it's all the layers of the, uh, of the rock here that, that, will, that will catch in the morning light, which should make for a really nice picture. I've got the right-hand side Hound Tor here as well. And there's a little hole in the rock on the right-hand side. So I just had a little bit of interest. Now, in typical Dartmoor fashion, I was banging on about how it's great and overcast and I was going to do lots of practice, but the sun has been peeking out now. It has cleared up a little bit. It's actually a really nice bit of light over there on the landscape. So, um, but it's not going to get that much better. So I'm, I'm not going to get overly excited. But I think this composition will work really well with the sun coming across and catching all the side of those rocks so you can see all those those different layers anyway let me show you uh, what i captured up there
Well, I do hope you've enjoyed this little five minute photo adventure. I appreciate it's got rather sunny and blue sky now and the story behind this video was to what to do when it's gray and overcast. But hopefully the message behind this video hasn't been lost. And that's really just to get out there with your camera, take some pictures, go and discover some new compositions and use that time when the light isn't that good to do some discovery, work out some new compositions, get some practice in with your camera. But if you need a little bit more inspiration and perhaps you've got another five minutes I'm popping up the five minute photo adventure playlist in the corner of the screen. Do check out another one of those videos. But until the next one, I'll see you then.